So what do you do, Raymond? I shoot people for money. What kinds of people? Priests. Children. You know, the usual. There's a lot of money in that line of business. There isn't priests. There isn't some children. What do you do, Carl? I sell cocaine and heroin to Belgian film crews. Do you? Do I look like I do? <laughs> you do, actually. Do I look like I shoot people? No. Just children. I saw your midget the other day. A little prick didn't even say hello. Uh, he was on a lot of ketamine. What's that? A horse tranquilizer. A horse tranquilizer. You can't sell horse tranquilizers to a midget. <laughs> I think this film is going to be a very good one. There's not been many classic films made about Bruges before, not until now, anyway. Of course there ain't. It's a shithole. Bruges is my hometown, Raymond. Well, it's still a shithole. It's not a shithole. Even midgets have to take drugs to stick it. Okay. So you've insulted my hometown. That's a good start, Raymond. Why don't you tell a Belgian joke while you're at it? I don't know any Belgian jokes. And even if I did, I think I'd have the good sense not to. Hang on. Is Belgium where all those child abuse murders happened? I do know Belgian joke. What's Belgium famous for? Chocolates and child abuse. And they only invented the chocolates to get to the kids. One of the girls they murdered was a friend of mine. I see the DVD player. And on the DVD player is the CD and it's our song from the wedding. And I look down and I see my wife's panties on the ground. And I look up and I see her naked in the shower and I'm thinking to myself, well, that's kind of sweet, you know, maybe I should go in there, you know, she's naked. So I pull the curtain and the fucking history teacher with tenure. And you know what he says to me? You should probably go. That's what he says to me. So, uh, yeah, I lose it. And I almost beat him to death. But I get chastised for it! Alright. Can you tell me about something that you did before uh, or after? Yeah. Um, about a week before, I called the guards and I told them my wife and the history guy were plotting against me by embezzling money from the local high school. Which wasn't true. It was a delusion. But we only found that out after the hospital that I was... Uh, I was... Uh, Undiagnosed by Pope. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Walls are closing in, sweetheart. You stay, the gang finds you, the cops do. Either way, Jack gets to you and you end up dead. Is that what you want? <laughs> Is that what you no, want? No, I don't want to die! I just don't like being on my own. I'm not good on my own. My head just gets so loud. Shit doesn't make sense. Nothing sinks up. I start thinking about my thinking and getting lost in the details of nothing. Nothing can pull me out of it. I just... Hey, it's okay. Take a deep breath, okay? You're not gonna be alone, okay? You're not gonna be alone. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs>